Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and my second vlog this weekend. Uh, we are back at Pickering today, um, it is Sunday the 19th of November. We're back at Pickering today uh, but with Jack I am doing some dressage in the side saddle. It's his first time in dressage boards since I retired him in May 21. It's our first time doing dressage in the side saddle. It's going to go horribly wrong. Um, I've been practicing at home and it has just been going wrong. Um, so we're just going to see how it goes. Like I always say, I'm not competitive, it's just for fun, but I just don't like letting him down, even though today he's been a swine. And I don't know why, but he stopped loading all of a sudden. So it only takes me another you know, minute or two to get him on, but I don't really know what's going on with him. So um, yeah, so we're gonna crack on. I'm gonna warm him up in the dressage saddle first. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done warming him up in the dressage saddle prior to the side saddle. So um, yeah, we'll see how he goes. Okay, here we go, our first test back. So this is prelim seven, and at A, enter in working trot and proceed down the center line without halting, C, track left. This scored as a 6.5 with the comments of a high head and hollow over back, but supple bend. Didn't think that bend was supple, but um, I'll take that. At H, working trot around the arena to A, 6.5. Uh, pleasant steps but could be rounded contact I absolutely agree with him there a little spooky down this end uh, FXH change the rain and working trot scored a 6 with contact um, contact could be softer over the back I agree uh, he went a bit wonky there just to the left he went to nap he does that a lot showing uh, now we have H working trot around the arena to A we scored a seven with more settled now, um, nice and soft. I'm happy with that. Uh, at A, circle right 20 meters diameter and on the circle between X and A, working canter right. This scored as a 6.5 with could be rounder and have more bend. Mm, I agree, just came up against me ever so slightly in that transition. Then we have A, working canter around the arena, between B and F, working trot, and F, A, K, working trot. This scored is a seven. Very happy with this. Uh, 
K medium walk, E turn right, B track left, and M working trot, we scored a five. Could be more through in the transitions to a medium walk. Resistance at M, pity. Uh, it's my fault, so in a minute you'll see that he had a spook. Uh, he's partially sighted in his left eye, so everything is super spooky. So I bought him in and I went around the arena on the right rein, whereas I should have gone around on the left rein, so we saw everything out of his right eye. But as you see, he's had a little spook. I tell him it's okay, give him a scratch, and then we crack on. So at C, circle left 20 metres diameter, and on the circle between X and C, working canter left, we got a 6.5 with some tension shown, but nice transition. I'm happy with his transitions today. He's really getting them. I'm working quite hard. Let's see, working canter around the arena and between B and M, working trot. We scored a 6.5. No comment there. I'm watching that back, I'm quite happy with that. Then we'll come into C, medium walk. HB changed the rain in a free walk on a long rain and B medium walk. We scored a 5.5. <laughs> He's put very fair steps, but stopped for a scratch. Naughty. <laughs> it's got to be one of my most favourite comments. Uh, completely my fault. I should have pushed him on, but he's quite a sensitive horse. So if I had just given him a boot there and told him to go on, he would have sprung off into trot, and I know he would have. Normally, as soon as I touch the rein and shorten it, he goes faster. Something I've trained him to do and something I am trying to undo. Um, we have F, working trot, A, down the centre line, and G, halt immobility salute. So this final movement scored is A6, with a little against the hand, but very nice halt. Clearly you didn't see that back leg just step out in a moment. So overall, this scored is 63.41. And the comment was a really super combo and shows plenty of promise with elegant steps. Super happy with that. First test back, done. Um, warmed up amazingly, really, really well. Nice and soft and stretchy in the frame. I think I might have got some footage of that that you have just seen, maybe. Um, yeah, really, really happy with how he warmed up. Hello. <laughs> and um, the test itself, he was hollow, standard jack. He was tension, he had lots of tension, standard jack. Um, I really don't go out to compete anymore. It's just to get him out, hence why I do it in the side saddle. It did make me think, do I actually want to get competing again in the dressage saddle? I don't know. I would like to do a few more in the side saddle and just see how I get on because ideally that's what I want to push for is the showing season next year. So, um, yeah, so we'll go from there. Hello guys, it was too cold so I came back home um, just to do my little outro. Overall, really happy. Ah, what a good boy he was. A little bit lucky, a little bit spooky. Uh, it's Jack. He is, he's always going to be tight, tense and hollow because that's what he's like when he goes in the dressage boards. He's always been like it. He lives for being out on the field and hunting. Poor boy. Um, when I walked him off, we went up because he had show jumping up at the top arenas. And he just stopped and watched them for a bit. And then we came back. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, but overall, in the warm-up, really happy with him in the warm-up. He settled into a really nice, soft contact. Uh, didn't do too much. Just had a bit of trot and did some um, transitions in the trot. And then had a little canter. Took him out, got changed, then brought him back in. Just had a little trot and a little canter in the side saddle. He doesn't need more than that if he's going into a prelim because it's just trotting in a little bit of canter itself. But overall, I'm really pleased with him. Um, despite the little bit of a spook and then stopping to have a bit of a scratch, he didn't canter any of the centre lines. Now at home, he had been cantering the centre lines. As soon as I had done my half 10 metre to bring him back on the centre line from the track, he just cantered. And also, I'm really pleased that after I had cantered, I didn't come back onto the track and he didn't try and canter again. That's another thing during the showing season that he did. 
Um, I know earlier uh, when I was in the box, I said, oh, do I want to put the dressage saddle back on him and crack on and, and see how we go with, with dressage again? Actually, after I've given my head a wobble, I don't think I do. I really want to take advantage of getting him out in the side saddle as much as I can over the winter um, without overcooking him to it because I really do want to get or be more prepared for next showing season. Um, I just want to make sure I'm better than I was this, you know, this season. And also he enjoys it. And yeah, it was our first season where it was a little bit wobbly and you could see the progression from April to September. So hopefully with some hard work uh, in the dressage boards over the winter, we'll be able to see a bit more progression when we start the showing season. So overall, really, really happy. And yeah, I suppose I'll just look forward to the next one. I want to try and get him out in the uh boards at least once a month just to keep them ticking over which if you think about it we're at the end of uh, november or middle of november but by the time i go out it will be december so just a few more months and then the, the showing season will be here but thank you again for watching i hope it's not been too boring boring dressage um but yeah it's still part of our journey and um part of having my horse and just enjoying him so thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next one